What is it that you try to offer? You know, because there's you, we talk a lot about the students, but as superintendent, mm -hmm. you're also, you know, thinking about the staff, the teachers, the mm -hmm. other administrators that create the experience that are also dealing with some of the shifts. I what, care what? about everybody. So 32,000 children right. and 8,000 staff every day. Um, you know, and so we've tried to create um, almost a, a wellness condition for everyone. It's important mm -hmm. to me. I have a little saying, and I used to use it when I was a principal, that if you don't feed the teachers, they will eat the children. And so I have to make sure, I have to make sure that our teachers, <laughs> teachers are getting are what they, they need. need. And so, you know, we were able to settle um, a teacher contract that had been outstanding for quite some time. And I wanted our teachers to know, you know, they are valued. Mm -hmm. They are highly respected. I wanted their salaries to be competitive to what, you know, um, their colleagues in suburban areas uh, were earning. And so I, I really do try to find ways to pour in to our teachers and let them know that the work that they're doing is changing lives. Because, you know, my parents had not gone to college but they certainly had an expectation that mm. I was going. Mm -hmm. And that was very clear to me. You're going to college. It's not mm. about if, it's where. where. It's and where. where. And, where. and yep. so, you know, I had to depend on folks who were in schools to help me navigate what I needed to do mm -hmm. so that I was ready when the time came. Well, you mentioned your parents. Mm -hmm. You mentioned coming up through the ranks as a counselor, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, working in the HEOP program, so thinking mm -hmm. about educational, what they call educational access, right? Yes. What do you think in your life has prepared you to lead in this way? I think it is the way that I was raised. You know, I come from a blue collar family and um, there was pride in hard work Mm -hmm. um, you know, being honest, mm -hmm. um, treating people decently, mm -hmm. and education was really important. And my dad, you know, he dropped out of high school and went mm -hmm. to work in the, um, the steel mills, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, my mother, she worked for the post office mm -hmm. for about 40 years. Wow. And, um, she did go back and get her degree. In fact, we were in college at the same time. Oh, but there wow. was, it was, that was interesting. <laughs> Y'all weren't um, in the same class. Now, oh, I wouldn't have had that. No, <laughs> we weren't in the same class. <laughs> but, you know, but they instilled in both my sister and I that, you know, education is something that's really important and it will never hurt you. It will never hurt you. I, it, yeah. When you mentioned going to college with your mom, it made me think mm -hmm. of another friend of mine, Dr. Uh, Nadrea Njoku, mm -hmm. who also talked about sharing a campus experience. Um, but she was a little person when her mom would take her to campus with her. Uh -huh. um, how often do you think about your mom when you're in the school building when you're thinking about the legacy of your work? Mm -hmm. Every day, you know, I talk to my mom every day. Uh, she'll mm -hmm. watch this show and say, why do you have your hair in your eyes? And you should have, you know, she's, she's a mom. And so um, every single day, and I never take for granted the sacrifices that my mother made and, you know, even though I am fully adult and I have adult children and a wonderful grandson who's going to do amazing things, my goal has always been to make my parents proud, mm. you know. And so if mm. there was ever a time that I wasn't sure about doing something, if it was something I couldn't do in front of my parents mm -hmm. or say in front of them, I tried not to. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I think every day about, you know, my mom, and she is very proud. She wears it with, you know, a badge of honor well, that, you right. know, this is my daughter. And, you know, again, there was nothing extra remarkable about how I grew up. It right. was just about um, having expectations. Patience expectations yeah when, mm -hmm. when you said that and you think about where you are you know I'm just yeah. like that is amazing you don't often I think we talked about this a little bit before you sat down on the couch that you know you don't often see leadership within school districts um, 
from people that attended mm. that same school district. Mm -hmm. You know, you might see I grew up here, yeah. I moved here, yeah. uh, but to be superintendent of the same district that you attended as a young person mm -hmm. um, is pretty powerful as well. It's amazing.